Welcome Virgos. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. This is Gemini season. The Gemini season begins from uh, May 21st until June 20th. So Virgos, I see truths are going to be revealed. A whole lot of information is going to be revealed. And if you Virgos had some sort of a relationship, some sort of an affair, I see truths is going to be revealed. So if you had some sort of an affair with a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, I see um, truths are going to be coming out and people are going to be recognizing what was happening, what was transpiring. Okay, you have two major arcana. The first week and the last week is going to be a sweet, sweet week. Some of you are going to be dealing with an Aquarian. Some of you are going to be um, dealing with a... A Scorpius, some of you are going to be dealing with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran. Um, but I see that you're going to be recognizing what was happening um, with these people. So it could be some sort of an affair that is going to be coming out about an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran. Maybe you had had the affair with this person or um, they had an affair. So however this is coming out, I see truth is going to be revealed. Some of you, um, if you had an affair or that you know someone on the work floor that had an affair, it is all going to be coming out. So the energy of well, the first week, the week is from the 21st until the 27. I see, um, I see some sort of an innocent, I see that um, an Aquarian, they're going to be recognizing that an Aquarian was innocent. And this is going to be the week where Uranus is going to be um, sending in your um, career, work, and money. So when Uranus comes in, it's, I see that some of you, um, someone could have uh, created some sort of a bad reference about you. And now people are now recognizing what this person have done. And recognizing that what the person had said and the, the, the dishonesty that the person had created around you was um, not correct. Okay. So it's as if someone could have wanted to throw you under the bus for whatever reason. And people are going to be recognizing that you were innocent because things are going to be coming out and, and people are going to be thinking, oh my God, why did they do that? Because it's not true. So some sort of an innocent. Uh, you, um, Virgos, was innocent of something. And um, whoever, a scorpion and uh, a Virgo, and it could be a situation where they're going to be um, thinking that you, Virgos, had an affair um, with someone at the work floor. And they're going to be recognizing that um, it was not true. So it, it could be that people were thinking that you, Virgos, had some sort of an affair or someone could have said, oh, well, we had an affair or we had a one night stand or whatever it is. But this is not something um, that was politically correct at the workplace. And they're going to be recognizing that you were innocent and it was not true. OK, then we see the energy in the second week. The second week is the week of uh, emotions and uh, the second week, you have the energy of the Six of uh, Cups. And the energy of the Six of Cups is about Sun in Scorpion. And the Sun in Scorpion is very, very positive. Um, so um, it is going to be good because the Sun in Scorpion, because people found out that you were innocent, I see that uh, a lot of people are going to be wanting to collaborate with you. They're going to be recognizing um, that uh, um, whatever that was going on, you or a scorpion was innocent, okay, Virgos? So they're going to be recognizing that uh, um, whatever that has transpired with a scorpion, I see that people were judging a scorpion or it could be a scorpion was just in you. It was vice versa. And they're going to be recognizing that either of you are not guilty of what people were saying. And they're going to be recognizing that a scorpion was innocent. Okay, so it was as if someone or people or uh, was creating some sort of a collega or people created some sort of a um, on 
undesirable situation where they had the energy of the scorpion and um energy because the sun is in scorpion because people recognize that a scorpion was now innocent and a lot of people were trying to blame a scorpion and you gem you virgos could be the ones also who were blaming a scorpion and they're going to be recognizing that the scorpion is innocent or you yourself is innocent because it's about something that the co-workers that was creating some sort of a um, chaos so, and gossip because I tell people, um, you know, it's best um, to let go of situation. You don't need to gossip about situation and it is best to let go of situations and People like to, to create a lot of stories over nothing that is really there and nothing that is really happening. And I see that co-workers could have blame either you Virgos or a uh, for having some sort of an affair on the work floor or blame a scorpion. And they're going to be recognizing that either you or the scorpion was very innocent of what people were speaking about. So let's say that... Um, and you wanted some sort of a new start. Um, this new start is not going to be coming in because it's as if someone had given some sort of a bad uh, reference uh, over you. And then in the in the second week, people are going to be recognizing that the reference or what people were saying was not um um what what was definitely far from the truth. And I see that that is going to happen. If you're going to be um, getting some sort of an offer, it's a yes, go for it. The sun is in Scorpion. So yes, this offer is good. In the third week, you have the energy of the Aquarian, Gemini or Libra woman in the reverse. Whatever is happening with this Aquarian, Gemini or Libra woman, some sort of an information is going to be coming out about this person. Now, whatever this person is, it could have been a supervisor a supervisor or someone in management, but some sort of information is going to be be coming out about this person, whether this person had an affair. And some of you Virgos are going to be having a situation where it is a situation where they're going to be um, speaking about you Virgos that you had some sort of an affair getting up the career ladder. And you got to be recognizing this, what people are speaking behind your back and if and if you hear or if the information come to your ears i think you better stand your ground and let people recognize this is not what it is or that's not true you know um take back your um empowered yourself by letting people whatever the gossip is that is going on on the work floor or with your business or whatever is transpiring um self-employed career-wise uh, because a lot of people are going to be thinking that a, a a gemini woman had give some of you virgos some sort of a lead weight going up the ladder and people are going to be recognizing that it's not true okay some of you gemini's are going to be recognizing that a boss and association or as someone you collaborated with or someone who did some sort of a business for you was not above water and this is going to be coming out okay and they're going to be recognizing that this person could have had um this person um could could have been um accused for something or accuse you for something or bring brought you in some sort of an undesirable position um where it could cost you and your business a whole lot or cost you your reputation and whoever this person is people are going to be recognizing that this person has been very devious in the sense and it's an Aquarian Gemini or Libra and they're going to be recognizing that either this person didn't speak the truth if you notice they're in reverse whatever these people are in the reverse is when they don't speak truth or they're going to be using the sword of truth and coming at you with harsh words so expect this in the third week whoever this person is it could be a manager or a supervisor expect this in the third week because this person is blowing a lot of hair and doesn't have anything to back it basically so you gotta be recognizing so if you have an Aquarian Gemini or Libran 
um, who is your boss supervisor or you is your partner, some sort of a partnership, some sort of a um, um, coincident, co you know, be aware of this. So if you had a Virgo that you had some sort of an affair with, it's, it's all going to be coming out and people are going to be finding out that you Virgos had an affair with this person. So be aware of this. So, and the last week, the week of the 11th until the 20th, you're dealing with the energy of the sun. Now, when the energy of the sun comes out, is that some of you it, are going to be overcoming uh, a situation with a Sagittarian because they're now going to be recognizing what a Sagittarian have done. And people are going to be recognizing that... Um, the Sagittarian, whatever is transpiring, a lot of you are going to be having some sort of an issue with a Sagittarian. And it's as if light is going to be shedding on this person. So if this person is a co-worker or this person is your manager or if this person you had done some sort of a business association with the Sagittarian, people are going to be now recognizing who the Sagittarian is and how the Sagittarian together with a uh, uh, a Gemini woman, I've tried to create a, a whole lot of issue. Now, there is truths that is going to be coming out. And if you recognize, uh, even though these energies are in reverse, it's, it's about, um, uh, situations that uh, were happening. And, you know, at the end of the day, um, good or bad, you're going to be overcoming a Sagittarian and a, what a Sagittarian and a Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person have done. Because I see that um, an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person could be really speaking up about the Sagittarian or say, some of you, you could be deciding um, to make um, a, a choice to between two um, co-workers or two managers or two um, supervisor and recognizing um, that they both, um, you know, have two, are going with the same story. And it's as if some of you Virgos are going to be saying, no, I'm going to stay true to myself in this situation because you two are going to have brought me down the wrong rabbit hole. And here they're going to be recognizing and seeing truths of uh, what these two people have done and how these two people have created uh, some sort of uh, issues uh, um, regarding either your business or regarding some sort of a partnership or regarding some sort of a work um, process, um, 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 work um, on the work floor. Okay, so these are career people who created some sort of an issue. And I see you Virgos are going to be standing up and it's going to be choosing to make the right decision in order to resolve some sort of an issue that was created around people and trying to use um, other people to clean up their mess. And you were one of these people that got caught up in it. So Virgos, you could be very successful coming out of this Gemini season um, because what is transpiring is that uh, um, a Gemini could be also recognizing that they also was uh, um, was affected by these people. And because of that, um, a lot of you Sagittarians or a lot of you are going to be regaining um, your stability by um, standing up against these people and speaking up and that is going to be bringing you some form of success maybe it's not the huge success that you will but you will be successfully overcoming and getting out of some sort of uh, a corrosion collusion with other people that they were collusion together in order to um come out on top and not speaking the truth and creating a whole lot of problems and issues and really not speaking the truth. And here I see you Gemini, you Virgos are going to be standing up and a Gemini could be helping you Virgos to bring uh, light to what has been going on. So Gemini, it looks like a good season for you, even though that to some of your cards, but if you recognize it's about... Uh, um, you know, the sun in Scorpion is very good because you're feeling good for some of you where you are in the week of uh, the 28th until the 23rd. So um, the sweet stakes is in the first week. 
uh, the second week and the fourth week because that is when you're going to be revealing a lot of information and a lot of things that was going on and you're going to be happy that you reveal these information in this situation in order to get yourself out of some sort of a situation so people are going to be recognizing oh the gemini or the scorpion was innocent these people had created a mess for them all right so i gotta go but please like and share these videos thumbs up um check out the symbol that the issue is affecting you in or check out two three of these symbols whatever i do love you guys namaste until next time <laughs>